Hello, my friends, and welcome back, everyone. We do not have a lot of time to go. We're going right into things. We got some zombies we got to shoot in the face very quickly because there's a lot of them. And uh, let's reload that arrow, please. We got a bunch of arrows. We got some uh, poopy, poopy frame rates, apparently, but we got to get to work. We got to take out this giant horde because uh, if we don't, well, this is not going to be a fun night for us. And you know what? I like having fun at night. I just stepped on a cactus. I should make sure we're not... Oh, you know what I should maybe do? Let's see if I can kite them away. I don't know if I can take out this many zombies, but if I draw their attention and get them all to come this way, right? So zombies, this way. This way, baby girls. If we can all just get them in this direction and then we lose them, I think we might be able to get into the pharmacy safely. So what we gotta do now is we gotta play the long con. We gotta go hella far away and just kind of loop the loop around. All right, this is this is always a solid strat if you want to get the hell away from, or if you want to bring some zombies away from somewhere. I remember doing it on the Xbox version, but uh, hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. I almost walked my face straight into a cactus, but it's okay. I stopped, and uh, yeah, as you can see, we are undetected. The loop the loop tactic is able to be quite tricky, and hopefully when we come back. There will be safety over there, and then we just have to break in. Uh, if I could get some frames. Do we have any wood frames? We got we got one. Can we not make more? Dude, dude what? Where's my wood? We have no wood. Oh, we got no wood. Well, that kind of sucks, but... Um, yeah, so I don't know where the rest of these zombies are. But I'm going to break in through the windows. I don't know how the hell to get wood in the desert. It's definitely not the most plentiful thing, but... Okay, we just want to get the hell out of dodge now. There we go. Break into that. Put that there. And welcome to a druggie's dream. That's right. Here we are, and we got a full night to loot this place up. And as long as we don't make too much noise breaking into anywhere, we will have a bunch of stuff waiting for us. Especially because zombies, they're not just going to break into here for absolutely no reason. And most of them are, are away. But in the meantime... What I'm going to try to do is maybe take this opportunity to try to break into the back room right now before, like, they get too close and they can hear me. Oh, what is that? Is that ceramic? That's ceramic. Uh, that'd be kind of annoying to break back there. What is this? This is like the drive-thru over here? Um, you know what? We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And then... We're gonna keep on going south, maybe? The gorge? People have been telling me the gorge is actually south of here. So we're... The gorge exists. It's just way more south than I anticipated. And I still want to see that hella bad. So we're probably going to head south of the pill store and see if we can find it. But in the meantime, we got a very full inventory and uh, a, a dream. We're going to have to get rid of some of the crappy stuff. Make sure not... We got to be very quiet with our looting. Got to be very quiet. We don't want to draw the attention of those outside. But I think we'll do okay. If they find us, I mean, it's... It's balls out at that point. That's when we take out the hunting rifle and hope for the best. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome uh, non-zombie infested day though. Here we got the vitamins. Yeah, you can hear them outside. That's horrifying. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic non-zombie infested day. This, yeah, see this is why I was not eating the vitamins originally. Because it cures dysentery. And if we ever come in a situation where we can only drink bad water, we could eat it. But to hell with it. I'll use it, try to get our wellness up. Our wellness has been struggling a little bit lately, and also because we need the freaking inventory room pretty badly. Uh, speaking of that, I'm going to put this nicer axe in this slot so we break through things a bit more efficiently. Maybe scrap the steel arrows. It's like it's only three. It does bleeding. Oh, what the hell? Wait. Arrows do bleeding 50%. That does bleeding 34%. Oh my god, they're right outside. Yeah, the good news is I don't think they're going to hear us. Thank god. See, we pulled this off perfectly. This is some goddamn, like, I should have been, I should have been playing James Bond in the background. Like, dun, 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 That'd be a good... Ah, blood draw kit is good. And we need one, because we need that to ultimately make first aid kits. First aid bandage. We can take... Yeah, we can stack that. We can stack that. I'm not going to be taking the splints, though. Nighttime is officially here. So if zombies catch a whiff of us, 
It's going to be a lot harder to handle them now, and we do have a couple hours here before they do catch with... Uh, Hold up, what do we need to craft the uh, uh, first aid kit? We might have the necessary ingredients right now. I, I shit you not. We might have... Uh, we don't have the book for it, so it doesn't matter. But I was going to say, we have the grain alcohol and the blood bag. And literally, zombie on the other side of that wall. Oh, yeah, we got a good strat going here, though. Just that we really do need to settle down somewhere. Maybe ultimately we might... We might end up fortifying this store for like a night. We'll try to survive the horde on the roof. That might be our best bet. I don't know. I'm still kind of like horrified for when that horde's going to come. Uh, we got a little bit of water. I'll take that. As long as I just don't want a face full of zombie. We got more beer. Hell yeah. We'll use that to run great distances. The greatest of distances. I don't want I don't want to get close to the windows. I'm scared of the windows. I don't want them to like... I don't know if they can see me through the cracked window. And I don't want to find out. There you go. And also make sure. I'm making sure not to hit... Uh, loot all, because I think loot all does make the most noise. I'm making sure to drag, so we're a little bit quieter on the looting. Unless they changed that feature a while back. I know that at some point that was a feature. You have no clue how much I'm pissing myself. Literally, couple blocks from here. There's just... There's that. Oh my god, this is spooky, man. This is too spooky for me. If I ever hear them start like trying to break a door down, that's when I that's when I quit. That's when I realize I'm done. There's no hope for me. Yeah, so there's a good amount of zombies too, by the sounds of it. They're hitting they're like hitting tin cans out there. By the sounds of it, I'd probably say there's mm, There's probably four or five zombies outside, which makes sense. A bunch of them probably wandered back. From when we were uh, doing our little chitin mission. Getting more water. Hell yeah, stocking up on the crap. Still haven't found... Actually, I don't know if there's any better stuff to find here. I mean, we could we could spend our coins on stuff if we wanted, but... Literally, sounds like there's someone right behind me breathing on my neck. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be spending money on that. I'd rather save these coins. Maybe if I could, like, spend all my coins on one thing so we could, like... Oh! Okay, okay, I'll take that. Oh, hello. We gotta drop some for that. Um, you know, I'll, I'll eat the blood bag. Get the rest of my health back. Give me a little bit of hydration, a little bit of everything else. I'll get a first aid kit in return. Whatever. I can deal with that. Yeah, so, I mean, we just gotta spend nighttime here looting up everything. We can't get another blood bag. Well, shit, I don't know what to get rid of. Like, I know at some point I called paper unimportant. It's important for shotgun shells, but that's literally about it, and paper is very abundant. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm getting rid of the paper, we got more valuable things to worry about, and... Like, I don't think we'll have trouble finding paper, although... Just cause I said that, we are gonna have trouble finding paper when we finally need it, but still... Let's keep on popping everything we can to get our wellness up, our food and stuff, we're doing just fine in that department. Just gotta make- ooh, a couple grain alcohol. Thing is, it's not really good for anything until we want to start crafting first aid kits, and we can't even do that until we learn how to craft the damn things. We're getting a lot of blood bags, which is nice. Splints, I'm gonna leave those just because we can craft those at like any moment. And all right, now I'm obliged to take grain alcohol. God damn it! <laughs> I, I'm not complaining though. We learned how to make a first aid kit. Hell yeah! What do we drop for the grain alcohol though? Because I do want to pick that up. Maybe the cowboy hat. Yeah, I'm, I'll just, I'll, I'll. Uh, Goodbye, cowboy hat. Or you know what? I'll scrap one of the stone axes. I don't need... I don't need all the stone axes. And then go back. No, grain alcohol? Where's the grain at? God damn it. It was in one of these, wasn't it? There we go. Start stockpiling that for the future. Mm. What else do we need? We need normal bandages, too? Oh, we can't even use the spa... Mm. Alright, we're gonna have to start a... Uh, start stockpiling. Also, duct tape. I think we left duct tape left or back at our last drop. So I don't know how that's going to go over, but plenty of... We're going to be able to make a good amount of... That sounded like they just aggroed us. I was scared. Usually when they make those noises, that means they're like starting to come after you, but no. We survived. We have a lot of grain alcohol, for real. So we just got to... Mm. Okay, the thing is with normal band-aids, we can... I think we can just use cloth to craft them when we need them. So that's not going to be too big of a deal, but still, this is fantastic that we got this place 
to add to our loot. We're going to have a bunch of healing stuff, which is going to be pretty important because we're probably going to lose a lot of health during that Day 7 Horde because we're, we're definitely struggling this time compared to prior times. Antibiotics, we will continue to stockpile for when we get hit. Blood bags as well, and grain alcohol. And I'm telling you, I might... I think I might just scrap the steel arrows. What do they give us if we scrap? Uh, you know what I might do? I might just... I'll load them into my bow. And I'll just make sure to use them next, yeah? I'll just get rid of them. Put them to good use, and then we'll... Uh, we should have some more room in our inventory. If I eat the cans of ham, once we get a little bit of hungry, that'll be another spot. We could get rid of the coal, I guess. Maybe craft up as much gunpowder as we can, then just get rid of the extra. So ultimately, that's why I took the coal. I wanted the gunpowder. Why do I have my actual flashlight out? God damn it. Shopping cart, I could care less about that. Oh, I thought there was maybe going to be the door into the back room. No. Wait, I wonder if the back room is going to have anything, if this is... Because we're, uh... Yeah, okay. I, I gotta drop something to make room for this. Uh, I guess some eggs. We're not good. Mm. Eggs get really good down the line, though. Plant fibers? Yeah, see you later, plant fibers. We'll start stockpiling the band-aids. It's a sign. And we're really gonna need them. And then as soon as we can get our hands on duct tape, we can start crafting first aid kits. And when we get a ton of... Oh, you know, I will take that. I don't have a cooking pot with me because I left that at our last drop location. So, I gotta start... I gotta start taking stuff apart. Didn't I drop the cowboy hat? Thought I did. Now you're dropped, cowboy hat. Sorry, you got drops from the team, babe. This is probably gonna have some murky water and poop. I, as much as I'm a connoisseur of poop, trust me, I love poop. Specifically the act of pooping. But uh, I'm, not, I'm not taking that. I'm not, I'm not about that. More murky water. Vitamins, keep using that. 101, we finally broke the 100 barrier again after all the struggles we've been having lately. We gotta craft up a better bow. That's definitely on the to-do list too. Our bow right now sucks. And then, of course, kill some animals and make our forge, but I don't want to invest in a forge till we find an okay spot to settle down and whatnot. I mean, at the very least though, we can actually spend our night very efficiently. We're getting a lot of looting in, which is great. Maybe it's not the most action-packed in the world, but I, it, it's, it's good. This is the good stuff right here. Because we're freaking benefiting like hell. Did I, did I just hear a plane outside? Thought I heard a plane. Okay. Let's get the pill case here. Nothing there. What about you? Uh, bandage. Okay, good. I gotta start stockpiling on those. Still kind of, in hindsight, should not have left all my stuff behind. But, well, I mean, I had to. But I, you know what they need in freaking seven days? They finally got to add in the feature. Let me know if you agree with this. They got to add in a feature for bigger backpacks. All right. I want like a goddamn Mountaineers. Like a huge... Something huge. Okay, I need to, like, I need to store this stuff. And currently, as is, like, you know, seven days kind of cock-blocking me with that. So, bigger backpacks. They seriously got to add that as a feature. Especially in early game. It just sucks that you have to limit your loot until you can actually get a base going. I mean, it makes sense. I'm just complaining to complain. I like complaining. But it's it's a solid complaint. Like, it's a, it's a suggestion, I guess. Like, if they, if they don't add it in, I mean, it's still, it's a part of the game that you got to be strategic with what you pick up. Until you actually settle down, but I th I just think it'd be pretty cool. And yeah, no empty bottles on us either. I was gonna say maybe we could drop those. We do still have a couple untouched pill cases here. So much to I'm not picking up those band aids. I got my stack of five band aids. I'm not going past that. Yeah, I would love to be a little bit more ballsy, guys. But right now we're just not in a good situation, especially with the seven day horde coming up. But like I said, we we seriously pulled something off very well by being able to be efficient at night by sneaking our asses into here. And now we can just literally loot this entire place up. Oh, more grain alcohol too. Awesome. So as is, as soon as we get some duct tape, we got four first aid kits waiting for us. That's going to be awesome. Oh my god. I think first aid kits only stacked to five though. So that kind of... We can, we can keep loot. Oh, yeah, we're going to keep looting. Hell yeah, we're not going to stop, but... Ultimately, we might need to have a couple a couple piles. We're getting a lot of grain alcohol. God damn. No, no, none of that. I can't do that. Why do they have empty... Why do, wait, why do they have empty jars in a pharmacy? Isn't that... Dude, this... I don't know. Seven Days has always had questionable sound balance. It always sounds like they're just so close to you. And I don't like it. Oh my god, something just exploded outside. I think one of the zombies just blew up. Okay, so we got max band-aids. As many blood bags as much grain alcohol as we can. 
everything else we're keeping with. I might just grind our stuff down into gunpowder. Um, if you do gunpowder scientifically, it's better. You get, uh, I can't craft that science. If we, okay, so if we use a science table, we can get gunpowder a lot more efficiently. I didn't know that. That's actually kind of cool, but I mean, we can get 10 gunpowder for now, so I might just do that and ditch everything else we have on us. So ultimately, that's the only thing I care about here, so I will drop the coal. Yeah, I'll keep the nitrate. Maybe we'll come across more, but if not, I'm ready to drop the nitrate. But other than that, oh, we didn't touch these. Oh, good thing. Good thing we actually remembered about that. Let's keep getting that up. Ran out of painkillers. That's okay. I'm not I'm not grabbing I'm not grabbing more. We got the band-aids, like if we need to. We can use the band-aids and I don't just want to have one painkiller. If it was a big stack, maybe, but nah. Okay, so we looted the entire place up. We got about another hour. I might start trying and not I might I think I'm going to start breaking into the back room here. It might detect us though, but honestly, whatever. We get uh I thought we were getting gunpowder from this wall for a second. I'm like, wait, what? No, that's because we're crafting. But we do get stones out of this, and this is ceramic, and it's very satisfying to break for some reason. I don't, I can't explain that, but for some reason, this, hitting this is actually very satisfying. And then as soon as we break through that, is that uh, beautiful? We'll have the back room, and the back room consists of... I don't know if there's anything good back there. I guess we'll find out. I can't believe the zombies aren't catching a whiff of us. We're making a hell of a lot of noise back here. Like... They should really be on our case, but if they if they if they want to screw off, man, screw off. By all means. Please don't come back, babe. Don't come back. Alright, a couple more hits, and we should be straight out of Compton. Oh, is that is that a chemistry table? Well I mean, I could have got a lot more gunpowder. Well shit. <laughs> God damn it. Of course I find the chemistry table after I actually craft stuff. And of course I like I have to break more because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Not a, I'm a dumbass. I just got kind of unlucky with the fact that uh, I kind of just broke into the entirely wrong place, but that's okay. And then there is, I think, one more room to break into there on the far side. That's like the drive-through of the pharmacy. And also, daytime's coming up soon. I, don't, I really don't want to spend too much time in here. I do want to get out, get to run in, and start really surveying what our best option's going to be because we don't have the most time in the world. We're down to like three days to prepare for that first horde. I only have so many bullets for my gun. So we're gonna... Uh, I mean, if we keep looting, we, if we find more bullets, if we can keep our hunting rifle stocked, we'll be fine. That hunting rifle is amazing. I want to ultimately get that shotgun crafted, especially with those great parts we uh, looted up last time. That's gonna be awesome, but... Okay, so we're detected. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that fertilizer. I... I'd love to take you fertilizer, but now's not the time. Chemistry table. Yeah, we're we're sensed. We're the, the cover's blown, boys, but it's 4 a.m. I could care less. They're just gonna start breaking into here, but we we got time. Um is this gonna be the fastest way? I think this will be the fastest way. Are things about to break though? Yeah, so I will. There we go. We'll scrap that. I don't know. We just get stones out of that, right? Okay, we just got stones. Not bad about that, guys. Uh, my, my hard drive was full again. My hard drive's been getting a lot more full. It's kind of scary. I think I gotta actually... It's because I'm not using my external. That's that's what it is. Oh, look at that. Near-death experience. Why did I get an... I got an achievement! Woohoo! Love achievements, man. Especially when I have no clue why the hell I earned them. But popping these vitamins... I gotta admit, you guys had, you guys had a good... Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm not gonna... Am I really gonna get in that many cases where I'm stuck with dysentery? We got another first. Let's let's go. That's all I wanted already. Well worth it. The amount of stuff we're gonna come out of here with is gonna be crazy. We seriously, this was such a great idea. Looting pharmacies is just do it, do it. You get so much medical stuff, and medical stuff is ultimately what will keep you alive when you are in a pinch. Now, also, I'm just hearing a lot of zombies, so I want to make sure that they haven't broken in yet, because they're going to break in very soon. And, uh, I, I prefer living, so let's get the hell out of Dodge. And, uh, oh, dude, that just sounded way too close. Pick up the wood frame, and we're done. Look at that hit and run. It's, it's like, it's like, that, that was our motel, you know? And we just bailed on actually paying for the motel. It's a win-win. I'm an awful person, but it's the apocalypse. No one cares. And we got a camp up there. Hmm. 
might want to check that out. See what's up there. But yellow sedan, what you got for me? Anything good? Anything good? Nothing good. Why would a yellow sedan have anything good? It's yellow. I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of bagging on yellow, I guess. I'm not a fan of yellow cars. Unless it's like a Corvette, which is like classic yellow. I just, I, I can't do yellow on a car. It just, it, it looks wrong. It looks really wrong. And we're already catching the attention of all these zombies here. Oh! Oh, I was trying to loot all. I didn't loot all, though. Um, you know what we could do? Uh, I want to do the freaking cloth glitch here. I know there's a way we can break this entire thing. And there's way too many zombies here. I don't want to deal with all that. Yeah, they're already breaking it down. We'll keep on going. Cloth isn't super hard to get. We just have to... Mm, we're in the desert. It's kind of hard to get. All right, well... We'll break it. We'll, we'll, we'll handle the zombie camp. We'll, we'll get what has to be done. I just hope that we don't draw in more zombies. I, where are all the zombies? I mean, also there's going to be some like okay loot here too. There you go. Big hit on him. Big hit on him. Big hit on the last girl. Ow, ow. Of course, of course. Oh no, oh no. Ow, oh nurse. I'm, I've gone like deaf. This is not good. Alright, can we go back to my normal ammo now? Yes, normal ammo. Okay, okay. Ow, ow, I just itched my eyebrow in a really weird way and it actually hurt a lot. Ow, what just a cactus? Even the cactuses are on the zombie side. Jesus Christ, why you do this? Okay, come on. Give me all give me all the cloth in the world, babe. I need all this shit. There you go. There we go. Okay, yeah, I'm just break it break it all down. Break it all down. There we go. This is plenty of cloth here. When is this thing gonna call it? I don't think it is. It's got wooden supports. All right, we'll start doing some melee here. Oh, big hit, baby, big hit. Bigger hit, biggest hit. Actually, no, that's the second biggest hit. Biggest hit is head explosion. I love that hit. Although we're getting really proficient in our melee weapons, which is awesome. And we really should not be stopping for too long because we really have better shit to be doing, like finding a place to live. There you go, plague nurse. Drop dead. A filthy sloot. Just kidding. She was probably a nice lady. I mean, look at her. She was a nurse. She was already doing like a great service to the world. My what? Seven days is just such a loud game. I should start getting yucca juice too. Okay, someone just exploded over there. I love when I hit down and like I end up. Hey, you know, it doesn't happen that much anymore. But I was gonna say, back when you hit down and you would break gr break gl grass, not glass, break grass instead of like. Actually being productive, that was the most annoying thing in the world. Another crawler? Come on, I don't want to deal with you guys. You're annoying, you crawl. Jesus Christ, and I can't like stagger you. You can't stun these guys, they just, they just exist. Oh, and look at that, look at that, they got freaking like, Giannis Antetokounmpo arms. Like my god. There you go, be dead. I got an achievement, the adventurer. God damn it, even the game recognizes I'm a great adventurer. Alright, painkillers, I'm just gonna, I'm taking those at the... Right now, we're getting kind of thirsty. That's okay. We got the water. No empty glasses, but that's okay. Let's loot everything else we can. Wherever the nurse was, I definitely won't get her loot. Goggles? Do we have any goggles? Or I think the goggles are worse somehow. The goggles are somehow worse. That doesn't even make sense to me. Okay. Um, anyways, we can... Okay, cooler was empty. That thing, a bunch of feathers. Backpack, backpacks are usually okay. Can of stock, I'll eat that. That gives us a little, that gives us a good amount of hydration and some food, that's a win-win. Um, we dropped the can, that's okay. We already have, we have so much scrap. I'm not super salty. We are actually one part away from having a Magnum. Are you joking me? We're actually this close? This early? Why am I finding Magnum parts instead of like actual useful crap? Like, I'm gonna have no ammo for this thing when I craft it. My god. Savage. Alright, well, keep looting up the backpacks. Scrap that thing because I could give less of a shit about a short shotgun barrel. Because short shotguns are seriously awful. They're so bad. Like, I, like, they literally, like, if you're more than five centimeters away, those bullets, like, they go parallel from your gun. No, they go perpendicular. Right? They literally just, like, go... Like, they go out your barrel, they stop, they take a 90 degree left turn, and then they keep going. They just intentionally miss shit. They're savages. Alright, let's keep looting up these co- I was about to say, is that is that actually the last part? It's not. It's not. We still got a couple parts, but that was 
almost legitimately the last part. Okay, we gotta come across a town or something. We just need... I need one of the stereotypical stores. Those things are amazing to survive in. I know how to make a great... Um, great thing or whatnot. But we're gonna go ahead and continue exploring the desert. If you got... I might, I might look into the map a little bit. Like, I might... Like, okay. Comment section. Actually, no. Because I have to record a bunch of this stuff ahead of time. So, I'm gonna... Uh, I mean, I see a lamppost up there. I think we're about to come across a town. You know, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear. We still got a little bit of time. If I get really desperate, I might start looking at the map to figure things out. But other than that, that's going to do it for me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. We got so much medicine, which is going to be so handy in the future. And uh, our future, it look, on one hand, it looks bright. On the other hand, uh, in three days, there's going to be a just like a, like a, 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 a shit storm. A shit storm of zombies. A zombie storm, if you may. Or a shit zombie. Whichever you like. That's going to happen. That's not going to be fun. But uh, other than that, that is going to go ahead and do it for me. Hopefully you guys have yourselves an awesome day. And uh, yeah. Goodbye, my friends.